Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Light Bites, presented by Philips Lighting University. Our presentation today, titled Webinar Innovations in Retail Lighting, will be presented by Luke Underpool. Luke is a lighting designer with over 25 years of lighting design experience and has contributed to the generation of more than 25 patents in lighting design. Now Luke will be able to take you through this wonderful presentation about retail and retail shopping. So Luke, go ahead and take it over. Okay, thank you for the introduction, uh, Nathan. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm pleased to have the opportunity to update you uh, on this uh, Sunday, Friday afternoon. I see we don't have the right slide, so let me first put the introduction slides. That's where we are here. So it's a Friday afternoon, almost weekend, and it seems it's going to be a very beautiful weekend regarding the weather of in the Netherlands. I will present you uh, the new innovations as shown in the field of retail lighting on the Euroshop 2014 by Philips Lightroom. Well, everybody involved in retail knows that the rules are changing nowadays. The shopping journey is undergoing a huge transformation as a result of the internet revolution. Not longer the shop alone is the place to buy products. The mobile phone is already the new way of shopping, and it will give a lot of stress to the normal retail uh, store. One could say uh, maybe even that retail goes digital uh, nowadays. Me being a lighting designer, I do see a comparison in the, with the lighting industry because lighting also goes digital with introduction of that lighting. Also here, the rules are changed completely and we face completely new, let's say, uh, challenges. One possibility, uh, one way to get shoppers back to the brick and mortar stores, as they are sometimes called, uh, is to offer experience. We therefore are lucky to have Bex now, which offer the possibility to go digital and bring personalization and experience in the form of dynamic and colored lighting. The retail teams for Philips Lighting are quality of light champion, store design enhancement, green store or performance champion, and innovative store experience. This is all to establish the following effect, attract, engage, convert, as we call it. Attract means we want to attract shoppers to stores by offering quality light and experience. We know that our eyes are very sensitive to movement and brightness, so these effects are applied more and more in, for example, shop windows, but also on virtual merchandises. With engage, we mean that we want to connect customers to the product on display and bring them in contact with the brand. And then there is convert in the end. We want to sell the product, but also establish a long lasting relationship with the customer and the brand. That's why we say convert and come back. From these growth initiatives, our communication teams uh, are built in Pellet, and from this we derive our innovation portfolio. So let's now have a look to these new innovations as they were shown on the Euroshop Fair. So the Philips retail teams are based on four pillars. Quality of light. This team covers issues like color rendering and white rendering. New possibilities and variable factors will open a new world for lighting design. A full palette of whites will become available. It's no longer only color 830 or 930. No, everything will become possible, as we will see. The second box, store design enhancement, focuses on making the store look more attractive, so people want to come over and stay longer in your shop. So for this, more architectural and design qualities are looked for. The third box, performance champion, means efficient light, so the lumen per watt performance should be very high. At least nowadays, it should be above 100, but I can assure you, next year, I think we are going to the direction of 140 or maybe even 150 lumens per watt. It also includes well-defined themes with flattering light, which can create interesting product presentations and nice shadows. What we want, of course, is we want to review the quality of the products on display. In supermarkets, especially the fresh food presentations, get a lot of attention with color enhancing light, while in fashion, texture, color, and white rendering are of main importance. The last box deals with innovative store design. We see how LEDs are introducing digital lighting to the retail world. The result is programmable theoretical lighting, which brings experience and customer interaction, and this especially today, to complete the experience in the store. 
and that's very hard needed because we really have to compete with online shopping. Shopping in real stores should be exciting, it should be fun, and it should inspire you. In the lower boxes, you saw the innovations as they were shown on the Euroshop. Well, let's go, not go there in detail because we will pass by all these innovations one by one. So let's look at the first application and the first innovation here. The first one is called Chris Bright. I personally think this is the first development in a new direction that will grow big in the near future. We will see a revolution in light as a physical, as an, let's say, physical phenomenon. Still today, light was available at very cold temperatures and cold renderings. But in practice, most light sources used at least in retail were 3000 Kelvin or 4000 Kelvin, and they had a good color rendering. When using, however, energy friendly solutions, the choice was often limited to only 830 or 840 light sources. Quite often, this was fluorescent of master color. Now, with that, it becomes possible to make every color temperature we, uh, we want. And not only that, we can also change the color rendering qualities and we can go above and below that point bar. So we can make really dedicated spectrum. Chris White is specially uh, developed for the fashion industry. After receiving a request to see if the white rendering could be improved for textiles. For fashion designers, it's very important to show clean white light or let's say clean white fashion, but that means for, to show that we need clean white light. The question was, I'm a store owner and I need a solution that can replace CDF. However, I'm not convinced that there is an appropriate retail solution for LEDs, as current LED lighting sources make white look dull. So Chris White is especially developed to bring out the best from both worlds. And then we discuss saturated colors, but also white for textiles. Whites do not look gris or yellowish anymore. Today, white can be really presented as truly white. So we combined the best of two worlds. For white rendering, normally 4,000 K, uh, 4,000 Kelvin light would be preferred, so cold light. While for saturated colors, warm light of 3,000 Kelvin would be better. This white is light of 3,000 Kelvin with an extra touch of blue in the spectrum. The result is shiny white fabrics, really loved in fashion stores and uh, yeah, let's say every store where you really want to show white textile or white surfaces. The next innovation is customized lighting. As I said, Chris White, in my opinion, is just the start for a complete new trend in retail lighting. Let's offer the possibility to personalize white light to your personal wishes. We will talk about full spectrum white light, but now all kinds of color temperatures are available. And we can even offer color points above or below the black body light. That's why we call this customized lighting. This gives shop owners and digital merchandisers the possibility to choose the perfect light which goes best with their shop. See the white light in the boxes here on the picture. You see it's all white light, but you see different shades of white. And when you look to certain boxes, it looks it's a little bit more yellow. Other boxes are a little bit more bluish. Of course, we can go in all kinds of directions. So what will this mean? This will give shop owners and people who work by the possibility to choose the perfect light, which goes best with their shop. On jeans, it can be slightly cooler with a touch of blue. Well, for lingerie, warmer light can be used. Sports clothing will look better in the daylight like lighting and luxury products could ask for more halogen alike lighting solutions. I really expect that in the future a lot of store chains will have their own specific light. So just imagine a Philips brand store with a special Philips white spectrum of light inside. But of course it's not only Philips, you can fill in every big brand here and you can imagine that they were asking for that specific white light they want to have. Well, enhancing products with special light sources is already used in supermarkets for many years. I remember the introduction of the white sun lamp for fruits and vegetables, and the metal halide lamps which were used to really enhance fish with silver skin. 
Now all the latter solutions are available, giving even more color freedom. Extra advantage here is that the LEDs have no infrared in the beam, so no heat in the beam, which has a very positive impact on keeping the products fresh. Today, special LED fresh food spectrums are available for varied product groups. We have, for example, a rosé for meat with a touch of extra red, which makes the meat look more appealing. We do have a frost for fish and ice with an extra touch of blue in the spectrum. We also have a champagne which gives extra warm light to present bread and pastries. It makes them look really oven fresh. And we do have an authentic white with a very good color rendering to really enhance foods and vegetables in the fresh food department of supermarkets. A big problem in the food industry is the waste of food. In general, 40% of the food worldwide is thrown away. It's our strive to, let's say, make a more sustainable society, and also the European Unity and the United Nations have made agreement to reduce the weight of food by 50% in 2025. If you look at supermarkets, especially sliced meat is very sensitive to degradation over time, and the shelf life is very limited. Food waste can cost up to about 4% of retail revenue. In cooperation with partners from the meat industry and universities, a special lab solution called Rosé is made with a special adapted spectrum. The result is that meat will degrade slower, resulting in less waste and a longer shelf life. Compared to conventional lighting, like for example white sun, the shelf life can be extended with 30%. At the same time, of course, it's also possible to increase the lighting level by about 40%, having the same shelf life as before. So it means that we can make drama and present the products in a more theoretical way in the supermarkets. And of course, what we already said, that's what we want because we are looking for more experience. Okay, here is Sophie, our giraffe, uh, who became a mascot in the booth on the Eurojob. And she now lives in the atrium of the Philip Lighting headquarters. She here presents the Pro Air, a new spot designed by the famous design office LAPD in the UK. A spot to strengthen our position in store and hardware. Not only the design was important uh, here, but also we developed a pool system, which means that we can aim the spot from the floor. This was developed after a customer request to make aiming spots safer for their employees and avoid the dangerous actions on levels. Well, that's what we do. You now stand on the ground, you have a pool, and you will be able to direct the spot in the good direction. So as you can see here, the pole air allows the head to tilt and twist by rotating the pole. Of course, the product is available in black and white, and various beams can be applied. And narrow beams, medium beams, and also wide beams will be available. Well, we not only have the spots, but as you can see here, the pole air can be further tuned by adding accessories like a honeycomb and a snoot to reduce glare, for example. Now let's have a look to the prize-winning product innovation called Black Fusion. It received an AIT Innovation Award on Eurojob. This award is given by a jury of architects and interior designers for innovative trends in the retail branch. Also here, we introduce a stick to aim the spot from the ground, as my colleague Christian is showing here. The design idea behind this last spot, however, is not to have, let's say, easy aim, but to offer a more visual quiet solution in ceilings in stores. Because in this case, the store, or the, sorry, the spot is completely flat in the ceiling. So when you aim the spot, the window stays completely horizontal in the ceiling, but the, the light beam can be aimed into different directions and in a different angle. The result is an adjustable spot, as unobtrusive as a downlight, and more flexible in aiming than a photonic spot. The new special optics system allows to direct light with 360 degrees pan, so you can really go all around and you can tilt the light up to 45 degrees. Various beams also here will be available, like narrow beams of 12 degrees and also medium beams of 25 degrees. Well, as I said, Tech Fusion is everything that has everything to do with design. The design concept uh, we did find out is uh, really started, let's say, for normal ceilings. But we did find out that it's not only for normal ceilings, we can also use it for surface-mounted products. And also we got very positive reactions for, in a, for a version uh, which was made 
for track mounting. You can imagine that if you have a lock pots on a track which are aimed in different directions, it becomes really noisy. In this case, all the products look the same, so you get a clear rhythm of spots uh, on the track, but still you can aim the light in all different directions. Of course, we are in a digital era today, and we cannot live without mobile phones anymore. Everybody panics when you don't have this thing in your pocket. So there's also a version which can be aimed with the help of, the help of an app uh, on a mobile phone. It works much safer using a letter, instead of uh, using a letter to call it. So you see how my colleague Larry here shows uh, that you can aim the spot, staying on the ground, and just say, okay, this is the place I want to have the light. And then the light follows in the right direction. Another trend uh, in shops is the use of daylight. Well, it's not always possible to have daylight, so we also make daylight panels with artificial light inside. This all to make a more pleasant stoppable feel possible in the store. We know that daylight uh, lit spaces make people people feel better, and um, this is uh, yeah an option to make it also when it's not possible to have daylight coming in through the roof. I just imagine that you have a supermarket and you have 10, 10 stores of uh, apartments above. Well, in this case, we can, in an artificial way, give the impression of real daylight in the supermarket. And here you see an example of uh, the panels we developed. And not only there's white light coming out, but also when you look up, so the light coming out is really white, you see that these panels have a bluish effect, so you really have the feeling that you have a connection with the outside world. Luminous panels, which you can see on this uh, slide, with a low resolution light effect, are not completely new, but they now really start to find their way to the market. It seems architects and store designers love it more and more and really want to do it in shops. As said, experience is key nowadays, and when you are trying to get customers in your shop, or let's say when you are trying to get customers out of their lazy chair and really go over to real shopping, then this is a very nice tool to use. For sure, this kind of video-like lighting effects are appreciated by people where the products not only bring experience, but also a kind of softness to the space, which will help to keep people in your shop longer. Next to lighting, the soft panels can also help to improve acoustic quality in the space because they absorb noise. In the race to deliver performance, champion in efficacy and performance, the new generation of the Style ID was introduced. Here you see the generation two of our Style ID. It's an efficient uh, LED spot with passive, uh, passive, passive cooling and a performance of over 100 units per watt. The color rendering can be 80 or even 90 if needed. Of course, there's a choice between 3000 and 4000 Kelvin, and various light beams are available. The Style ID has a newly developed optic system with a honeycomb reflector which guarantees a perfectly fine beam with a high print in the center to, con to create contrast on your presentation. For the rest, you see also a smooth transition from the center of the beam to the edge. Also, the color uniformity within the beam is perfect, so you don't see any angle over color differences. To save even more energy, lighting controls can also be used for this to introduce our green store approach. Using that lighting can already bring savings up to 40% in energy. Adding lighting controls with dimming can extend your savings to even 60% in total. The next challenge now for us is to simplify the information, commissioning, and also the use for the customer. With Green Store, we will introduce a new solution to implement controls easier, comparable, for example, with a home, uh, let's say, thermostat you have at home to uh, arrange, let's say, the climate in your living room. The first projects are under construction now, and we expect that it's uh, the start of a new trend in retail lighting. In this presentation, as you see on the picture, uh, on the Eurostop, we, for example, dimmed the horizontal lighting in the supermarket aisle and left on the vertical lighting. The idea is then that the vertical light is to attract people to really go in the aisle, and then only when people enter the corridor, the horizontal light will be added, which enables us, of course, to save energy. So, various solutions will be possible here, all resulting in energy saving and more experience. 
The NDC mirror also got a lot of positive reactions. We want to bring the quality of your fitting room to a new level with flattering and ambience making light. Customers now will have the opportunity to make their personal light setting in a fitting room for the ultimate fitting experience. This will positively influence the buying decision and it will help to reduce the return of garments. The diffuser frontal light in multiple settings will allow you to see yourself in the light you will be wearing the fashion bike. So still we are talking about white light with a good color rendering, but for example, cool light with a very high lighting level to see yourself in a jogging outfit. Or let's say a medium lighting level, 4000 Kelvin, which relates to business-like environment. So for example, when you buy a suit for the office, you can see yourself in the light, you will be wearing it. And when you buy a dress to go to the restaurant or to the theater at night, you may want to check yourself in a lower lighting level with warmer light. So all this is possible with the new, uh, let's say, um, vanity mirror. Well, it's not only that you want to see yourself in perfect lighting conditions, but also, of course, maybe you want to make the space where you see yourself more interesting. So next to perfect white light, we also can add colored ambient lighting to bring you even more in the right mood. And for example, the season can be enhanced, or what, for example, can be done like a spring setting or a summer setting or a winter setting. But also we can bring you in the right ambience, for example, for a night out by introducing more disco-alike effects. So we are talking about cove lighting in RGB, which is coloring the walls around you. So you yourself see yourself in white light, but you can enhance the space and make it much more interesting. Here are uh, already some proof point cases from uh, our NDC mirror. For example, Libera, uh, for Libera, we have created a fitting room with three lighting scenes based on lift, light, loft, as they are promoted by uh, Libera and a sales increase of 50% was reported here. In a Triumph store in Singapore, a fitting room was fitted with an end of lighting from Philips, resulting in a 40% sales increase. So one of the things which really contributed to this success was uh, the bus this uh, fitting room was creating on the internet. People are really talking about it on Facebook and, in, and Twitter, and a lot of people afterwards came over to check uh, the experience, and of course, by that, the sales went up. Well, in my opinion, one of the most spectacular developments shown in the defending booth is the indoor positioning system. Since the mobile phone almost becomes the most important shopping tool and cannot be missed in total anymore, because if you think about your phone, you really see it's becoming part of your shopping journey, then indoor positioning becomes really important, in my opinion, because it can really bridge the gap between real and online shopping. So indoor positioning uses intelligent net in-store lighting to communicate uh, with customers and smartphone uh, phones or even other devices, or iPads, whatever we want. So indoor position will deliver targeted officers, uh, offers. Uh, you are at a certain place, for example, just imagine you walk in the corridor and you pass the Coca-Cola bottle, and at that position you will hear that the second bottle is for half the price. So really targeted information, targeted also at special people and at special locations in the store. It can bring indoor navigation, which will help you to find the products on your shopping list in a very efficient way. Just imagine at home you write down everything you need and in the supermarket you get the most efficient route to really pick the products you want to have. It also helps you then to find the products and not forget products. And of course, also personal couponing or cross-sell opportunities become possible next to all forms of uh, near self advertisement. And you can imagine that when you pass a certain wine, that maybe you get a movie from the wine estate where it's coming from, and also it explains much more about how the wine is made. All this kind of new technology is becoming uh, available with indoor positioning. Well, Last but not least, I want to present you our dynamic shop window concept. We already said we need to attract the customer to the store. And it's not very simple because everybody is trying to do the same. So when you are in the head street of a city, uh, the main shopping street, you will see that everybody, of course, tries to get the people in their store. So you really have to compete with them. So by using controlled and dynamic lighting effects, we can really make the difference and uh, we can really capture the attention of people walking in the street. 
And of course, we can do that uh, with normal spots by just adding, uh, let's say, controls and giving the possibility to dim the spots. And in this way, we get a very dynamic effect. So a shop window that creates, of course, more attraction can help you to uh, tell the story you want to tell to the street and help you to get more people into the store. So uh, we are at the end of my presentation on Europe of 2014. I hope you did find it interesting and viral. At least here in Holland, the weather, Holland, the weather forecast is perfect for the weekend. So I want to wish you all a nice weekend. And I know now we want to hand you back over to Nathan from the Phillips University. Goodbye and thank you. Thank you, Luke, for that informative and very interesting presentation. I'd also like to remind you to sign up for our April webinars, one presented by Ono Willemse on adaptable smart buildings, so the future of lighting buildings, and a post webinar, a post video on the light and building. So in case you missed any of the innovations and reveals at light and building, this is a chance to view them.